Hello students, this is Roy Abraham going to teach you chapter number 5 for grade 6 a different kind of school. This story is about a school which has different way of teaching humanitarian values to students. The writer visited a school as he had heard a lot about it. He wanted to meet Miss Beam. Miss Beam was a middle-aged lady. Her hair was beginning to turn grey. She had a plump figure. Though she was quite authoritative, but was a kind and helpful lady. After arriving in the school, the writer saw a girl of about 12 years age her eyes were covered with a bandage and she was being helped by a little boy aged 8 she asked the boy about the writer and then they passed on miss bean said the real aim of the school was to teach thoughtfulness and kindness towards others the students should become responsible citizens. They learn through interaction and interesting talks, during which they have to sit still and keep quiet. The writer said he could see beautiful grounds and cheerful children, but they were not looking healthy and active. He said he saw a poor little girl with some vision problem when he arrived in the school. There are two more girls with the same difficulty. There was also a girl with a crutch watching other children at play. She said the girl was not lame but it was a lame day for her. The other girls were not blind, but it was blind day for them. This is a vital part of the education system, which makes the children appreciate and understand misfortune. Each term, every child has one blind day, one lame day, one deaf day, one injured day, and one dumb day, so that they could feel the misfortunes of others. During the blind day, their eyes are bandaged and they were not allowed to see. They needed help from others. Other children are given the duty to help them. All the children learn a lot from this way. Everyone is very kind and learns what misfortune is at the end of the story. Miss Bean asked the writer to come to the garden and see himself how the children feel about the unique teaching methods. The writer asked a girl if she ever peeped and she answered in negative saying it would be cheating. The writer found it awful to be blind. The children said their helpers were fine and those who have been blind already will be the best helpers. A student shared the experience about being late and hoping about on a crutch. She said it was troublesome when her arms was tied up. She said she could manage being deaf but it is difficult to be blind as one is afraid of getting hurt. The writer walked towards a house with a girl and started telling her about things and people around them. Miss Bean was walking with Millie the girl gave full description about Millie. The writer told her 
about an old man tying up roses. He was the gardener. Then came Anita on crutches. The writer gradually discovered that he was ten times more thoughtful and realized that he could also describe about things and people in better way. The writer later told Miss Bean that he was sorry to leave them. He wanted to spend more time with Miss Bean and the other children. Miss Bean acknowledged that her system then must be useful for children as it has impressed the writer also.